It's a $1,000 buy-in. Poker tournament is $1,000 in cold, hard cash. Slap down for the buy-in. It's a Thursday thrill. We're playing for bounties. We're playing a very tough field. We make the final table. Find out what happens on this episode of Spraggy Vintage. Make sure you like, comment, rate, subscribe. Enjoy. Nice, we held. The paired board is going to give us some chops at the river. But our kicker players, our jack 10's good, and we're back up towards starting stack in the 1k thrill, which is good news. I hope you'll agree. I hope you'll agree, my friends. In the 1k thrill, we've called a 3-bet against Stoyan. Small 3-bet. Chat, we have a flush in a 3-bet pot in the 1k thrill. $250 bounties against Jon Snow. What's my name? Jon Snow. Diamonds are coming. I'm all in. John, I'm all in. Rooting for a call, folks. We are rooting for a call. They call, we get $250 and a big stack of chips. Call me, call me, call me. Come on, Stoyan. You just have to believe you've got the best hand. You just have to believe. No! What do we think is calling here on the flop? King highs, yeah. A size, yeah. Worse than, yeah. I'm sticking around. Mm. Miserable, 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 misery, misery, misery. Do we have a future in the 1k? We're about to find out because this is going to be cool, of course. We have a very strong hand. We're rooting for a hold. Very good flop. Nice. Someone go all in against me, please. I'm begging, begging you. Drew does a three bet. We've got aces in the 1k. They're not three betting to fold when I have this stack depth. I'm all in. No diamond. Hit a diamond all you like. We're home and dry with a boat. We have doubled up again in the 1k. Remember when I said I would chat raise the nuts at some point today? Out of position for uh, our friend in the chat. It's coming. Combus, thank you for the five years. That is a long time. Half a decade of subscribing non-stop to this stream. I thank you profusely. That's awesome. We chat raising, yeah? Or what? We gonna do it? Or what? Big decision for them. Just timing down the whole hand, huh? What have you got? This is just my luck, huh? I mean, that turns terrible. Being king is bollocks. I'm fucking done with this shit. That turn stinks. They're just falling asleep. I've got a full house and they're like falling asleep during the hand or what? Hey buddy, what can I do? Pay me. They're gonna have a decent chunk of ace size, I guess, checking back. I imagine things that got counterfeit have already started bluffing. Or like low, low cards probably bluff at some point. Feels like a very high card heavy check behind. Damn, that was a laborious blind versus blind experience, wasn't it? We win, we win, we win, and we're gonna raise again with the five and the five. All right, I think at 40 we can call. Obviously, there's some stacks behind that might might rip. But we're going to flat pretty high up here as well, some of the time. Probably like jacks. And some ace, queen, etc. That is a set in the 1k, which is nice. Tristan New, thank you very much for the four months. It's yay. Yay indeed, Tristan. We got a three of a kind. I guess I have to bet. I guess I want to bet. Here comes the playboy in the big blind. Who's gonna obviously have the uh, greatest concentration of flushes with all the suited hands coming in multi-way? I'd say the turn's pretty, pretty good, pretty fun. We got the flush drawing dead most of the time, and we're in a good value spot against the Ace X. I just want to play for all of it, right? So we just have to big bet so we can jam rivers. I can't check back because then to play for stacks at some point I'll have to raise versus a bet, and check back and then raise river versus a bet is a lot stronger than just bet, bet, bet. Folded an ace, oh my god. Folded an ace, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Too good for me, but you know, what am I supposed to do? We're gonna call a chat raise hit. Very small sizing. And we have a 50,000 chips. I did indeed, mate. I did indeed. We have called the ace queen, we have called on the flop, and we are not folding at any point in this hand. 
This is a hand that uh, obviously we're doing very well. We're very strong. Our opponent has not had their range restricted in any sense. I have not raised at any point. It's very easy for them to find the required bluffs. Therefore, we have to just uh, hit a minimum defense frequency and ace-queen is like way, 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 way up there. So we just call and call and call and whatever we get shown, we get shown. Pretty much is how this spot works. These spots are actually like super easy to play. You just call and call and call at whatever minimum defense is. These are the ones that the theory is, is pretty straightforward against good regulars in terms of our defending. The hands that are tougher are when, or the situations that are tougher, are when your opponent has to find bluffs from other places or we might have to find turn hands into bluffs that seem like they can show down. But when your opponent's range is just as wide as it can be, like it, we've not restricted it in any way, we've not narrowed it in any way, then you just have to make your call downs, right? Anyway, I'm waffling, we're all in. We have the nuts. The river made the hand even easier. Uh, we priced in. 44% equity and $375 in bounties. And we get there and we hold for a big pot in the 1k Thursday thrill. 6 of 29, $375 in bounties locked up. Chat, we get to play a big pot. $600 bounty on Jon Snow. And it's ours. It's a nice pot to win. That is a good time to wake up with eights in the big blind. We have $969 locked up, rounded up. Leave it. Beautiful. Five of 23. Oh boy. It's really kicking off in the 1K. A couple of King Jacks and a pair of threes. The threes have it. The threes have it. Luffy is gone. Guy's just flatting, eh? Huh. Queen eight. He's going for it. What is love is going to take the bounty. This guy put it in with the queen and the eight. You got it. We are six of 22. Late rage ends in 11 minutes. Prize pool of 72,000. I'd like to raise. Who's got the short stack? Sherm dog? 12 blinds? I'd love to see it. Mm. When we open in early, this is obviously one of our like weaker hands. We do cover for the bounty though, eh? Hmm. It's a pretty fucking good flop, isn't it? Pretty good flop, mate. 3k. I feel pretty confident about our hand, not gonna lie. We're just gonna keep calling. And hope that they don't have ace-queen. That's a really shit river, fuck. Ace-king hates its life now. Ace-queen gets there. Fuck. It's the nuts. Oh man, how did they get there? Oh, that's such a fucking sick run out. Oh my god. Oh, King Ten of Diamonds. Ugh, it's gross. I had the spade too. Ugh. Fucking what a... Ugh, it's vile. I don't even want to look at it. I don't even want to look at it. Mmm. That's a painful hand in the 1k. That's a very painful hand. Alright, we're gonna have to be all in here, I think. Definitely if it gets folded to us. Alright, easiest shove. Easiest rebang of my life. Let's hope What Is Love doesn't wake up with it. Let's get us back on track here. $375. Oh, there's always a sweat. There's always a sweat. What a run out. We do survive. All right, we're very much back on track after that. Yeah, disgusting hand. Back to 81k, but we got 1,343 locked up in bounty. It's not all bad. It's not all bad, is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I will defend 10-7 of spades here at 45 blinds effective. I'd like the turn to be a spade, I would imagine. Real money, baby. And here comes my spade. Oh, Boy, I'd like to lead and I'd like to lead big. And baby, I'm gonna go all in. Hold tight, riders. Come on, Johnny Knock. No. That's a shame. All good. We want a nice pop. And I think we want to go for the maximum sizing there at the river. You know, all the nutted hands that lead the turn that we have want to play for stacks, especially when this is here. So I think we just rip and be pretty happy about it. They gotta call something, right? And we have a prediction in the chat. We got pocket jacks. What's the chat prediction? Will Spraggy make it in the money in the thrill? This hand might be a big, uh, big factor, big determining factor. I think we're gonna start with a check. Whoa, that was a quick check back. I feel fairly confident about our hand. I wonder if this is just going to go check check a lot. I kind of want to just block lead for value. Try and get caught by like 9, 10, ace, 9. Pocket 7s, pocket 8s. 
Nice. We get max value there at the river, I think. Pretty happy to raise core here at 30. More happy against what is love, because I think they're going to jam a much wider range. And they have fewer chips. Pretty nice. Big pot. Raise, snap it. Obviously, nothing nothing else to be done here. And we take their bounty. And we take their chips. Four of 18. $1,718 in bounties. Hurtling towards the money at breakneck pace. Tens v jacks. Tens has a club. Jax is knocked out. We are down to 13 players. It's a big flip. Oh, it's a big flip. Drilled the river with the 8-9 offsuit. You love to see the deuces. $250 for the knockout, and we are 4 of 12. Most importantly, we uh, we take the chips. I think I got to call 12 blinds. I don't know, the race, ca race calling 8-9 off 12 blinds doesn't feel great. We see a very nice hand that they have. Honestly, I don't even know if I would reshove that. You gotta be really careful reshoving when you don't have fold equity with those deuces and threes and peak hours because exactly that happens, right? Like my range just raise calls pretty ruthlessly. 25 blinds in the middle, Remy Lebo with a pot size bet remaining and uses it. Is all in with Jax against the seven, seven slop in a set. Remy is gone. Pretty nasty cooler on the double flush draw board. And then there were 11. We have a queen and a 10 of clubs. We are fourth of 11. I would like to play the queen and the 10 of clubs. Perfectly playable hand, flops pretty well. Does some nice stuff. We get to call just 3K into a pot of 15. And we do not make that strong of a hand. It's not ideal, obviously, but we're probably still gonna continue. This is a board where actually there's more checking than you might think, ace, king, king, because it's like a dead board. Like the best hand is not gonna change, but Given what we've seen from this player, they didn't bluff in the limp pot with 8 high. I think they probably will bet like 7-8 suited and 8-9 suited and stuff. And Jack-10 that we beat. And probably just one and done a lot, right? They don't seem like they're going really aggro with their bluff. So our queen high sometimes is the best hand and then I, I feel like there's more reasonable chance it just checks down. And we also have a gut shot to the straight. I think our hand is too good to fold on the flop. But we will fold to turn barrel nine. Hey. Excuse me. In the bin. I don't want to have to fold king eight suited. I don't think I do. 40 BBs. I think even versus 4 BB open, we just defend the hand. Seems appropriate. Pretty good flop. We're looking for a red card, obviously, to make, like, basically the nuts. You might even do some checking back with a king high. Got a backdoor straight draw as well. I really want to get check raised in this setup. All right. We're going to have the best hand a lot of the time. Obviously, there's still going to be some checking of 10x on the flop. Maybe going for check raise or a check call. Uh, they're going to make straights on the turn, they're going to make some two pairs, but like we have a very easy decision at this point. Like We definitely win a lot. We have outs to improve. We're just going to call. Very good river card. Very good river card, it must be said. Sure. I don't know how many thin value bets I have, because I, I don't really have a 10 that wants to value bet. I don't really have many two pairs that want a value bet. So my value hands are like flushes, straights. So my value hands want to be all in, I think. It's a pretty easy spot for me to have bluffs as well, right? Like any 9x, any 6x. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I want to take that sizing. I'm going to defend to the minimum. Or am I going to three bet? Honestly, I might three bet. Three bet in here seems really fucking nice versus calf with this hand. It's definitely my most miserable <laughs> ace right? And I want a three bet induce at the top of my range, right? I want a three bet induce like aces and kings and queens and ace king. Cool, 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 cool. Wow. No. Surely not. Recop says could do with a bit more hype and some energetic music. Nah, we don't need to be hype. Leave that to the Minecraft lads. What's up guys? Welcome back. We're 11 left here in the 1k Thursday thrill. Let's freaking go. We're two from the mo- oh. Will you just shut the- <laughs> Please spare me. We're chilling. We're trying to get into the money, and then we're gonna win, and then then we'll get excited. Quite a good river, in an uncomfortable spot. Wow, wow. I nearly just folded the turn as well. I nearly just mocked on the turn. Oh boy. First of 10. That was a big cooler as well there. Ace-Queen versus Pocket Kings. I like this hand as well. 
good enough. Let's rumble. Let's get ready to No. King Deuce against Ace Queen. And King Deuce makes two pair. Gratitude is going to. Well, it's the bubble. Take us to the FT. They get there with a the King Deuce. And our first hand at the final table is Seven Deuce Offsuit. But we are indeed in the money. Final tabled out of our goddamn minds in the 1K Thursday thrill. This is the final table. Ace Jack's here. That's a good hand on the FT. Pretty nice. I mean, the dream is we open and Padachuk shoves, right? $1,437 bounty and 12 blinds. It's a pretty big bounty. It's the biggest bounty in the game. Go on, do it. Oh, huge. Oh, they have a big hand, though. Damn. Fuck. Not a lot to be done about that. It's just a cooler. Pretty nice hand to call a 12 big blind reshove with, right? We're gonna fold on the FT, but we'll stick around because Playboy's all in in a bounty of $800 at risk. Eights and Jack Deuce. Bounty hunting. A lot of outs. They brick. And we get seven deuce. Woohoo! Fuck it, I'm just gonna put a move on him. Relax. It's the wrong table. We have an all-in on the FT, and Padachuk is gonna survive with the Ace-10, getting there against the Ace-Queen. It's the Ace-Queen that is K to the Ode. We are down to eight players remaining. That's a really good flop. We've been check-raised on a board that is good for my opponent, but we are lurking with the nutted hand. I would like to call. Very good turn. We're still gonna get here with some Ace highs. We're gonna get here, obviously, with some 9x, some backdoors. My opponent is shaping up to be all in by the river. And I think, you know, a lot of my hands are pretty marginal. My opponent has more fives than I do. What I want is for them to try and get me to fold my marginal stuff, trying to get me to fold a nine by the river with something like six, seven. I think the decision is just to call, take a bit of time and call, and then call all in. It's actually a pretty good river because like my nine, 10 hate this run out. My nine, eight hate this run out. So I can see them bluffing. I have a full house too. Not that we needed to improve. Wow. Now that is a good run out. Imagine their delight when they backdoored the nut flush. Sorry, I don't know why we're watching this. We should be on the FT. Because there's an overbet at the river from the Patachuk on the repeat three. Good card for overpairs. Pretty good run out for full houses too. They get the call out of the queen eight of clubs. Really hard hand to fold when they make an eight on the turn. They're really high up. Maybe he wants a hand. Maybe he's got one. He's all in. Big Aid Longstaff, thank you very much for the prime sub. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh dear. A long way back from there with the ace three. We are down to just six. We are first of six in the thrill. All in on the FT, nines against threes. We might be going down to five. Man, Padachuk is just drilling the deck. Aces versus the ace three, nines versus the threes. They're picking up chips. They're picking up momentum. And they take the chip lead. Two of five we are. But we are down to five. 3,100. That's 5,300 locked up. We'll never complain about it. locking up more dollars in the bank. Yeah, go on. Kind of feel bad checking. I feel like maybe we should just be betting this hand again. Obviously, the turn's not, like, ideal, but... I think we've got the best hand for the most part now. I don't think it makes too much sense to go for that many check raises here at the river, because I'm likely expected to just show down a lot. So I think if they have a queen, they bet to try and target my 10. If they have a stronger hand, they're betting to try and target a 9 or a 10. I don't think a check raise is really a good option for a lot of their strong hands. So if they do raise here, I'm probably calling. I think once I check back a queen, I would have to call. And like I said, I don't think a check raise is really that viable. <laughs> Oh dear. How are they bluffing? Turn a 9 into a bluff. Try and get me to fold a, a thinly value bet 10. It's really fucked if they go for a check raise, just given how, like, if they, if they end up having, like, jack 8, which I block as well. This might even be, like, a really nice card. Huh. Fair. I don't think I can fold that hand though. I think I'm way too high up. Haven't checked back. Probably my best call, right? All in. Aces versus kings. That's one way to get chips in the middle. Give me my hand back. Aces is gonna win. We got $1,100 bounty right there. All right. Player does call. King Jack against Ace-10. 
Honestly, I don't hate that when it's an $1,100 bounty here. I don't hate that because they're only doubling up to seven blinds as well. I don't think I want to call though. Nine four off. Oof, me. They've called with Queen Deuce. They're up against Queen Nine. They need a club. <gasps> there it is. And there's the bounty in the ladder. That is a big get there with the Queen Deuce against Queen Nine. That is naughty. Naughty, naughty. <gasps> Jax, folks, this is us. We're all in. We're, uh, we've laddered the fourth. 28 blinds. We're going to three bet call. We want to make it like eight. We're still going to want to have bluffs here. Excuse me. We're still going to want to have bluffs here, blind be blind. I think we're going to make it like eight and a half and call off. Hand's definitely strong enough to induce, obviously. I don't know. I don't know whether we want to 4-bet dunk this. I, I feel like I don't really want to fold it. Obviously, the flops are immense. So we're just going to raise and run it. If we can. If we can and can. Don't ask me this again. We're just going to send this. All in. All in and a fold. Chat, we've got an all in. $1,953 bounty right there. Who wants it? <gasps> it's a big flip. Nines versus ace queen. What do we want? The nines to hold, I guess? Sure, we'll take the ladder at this point, I think. We'll take the ladder. All right. Ooh, dear me. What a hand. I like this one. Three handed. I like it nine handed. I'm going to check back this hand specifically. It's one of our more efficient checks, just under the king. We block some of the, like, gut shot continues. I think we want a value bet now. I'm going to go big, too. Winner, winner, 350k, 96 suited. I guess this hand benefits a little bit from denial. Turn is some good, some bad. Um, we beat some of the bluffs on the flop, something like Jack-10, 9-10. Some diamonds. Um, the strongest ASEX are going to 3-bet. That's not to say that they're stripped of ASEX. They are going to have ASEX hands. We do block 7s and 8s. I don't think are in the range. They're going to 3-bet. Put it in, I expect. We're going to call again here with the hearts. We're looking for a red card. All right, well, we're going broke. Show me a better hand because we can't fold now. They're going to have some one-pair hands going for value. They're going to have some worse two-pair hands, 7-8. Certainly just can't fold queen-7 when I backdoor this. Diamonds miss. Jack-10 bluffs. We beat value if they flat like ace nine or ace ten, maybe. Mm, I don't know if they jam it in the river though. That's a really good sign. That's a really good sign because they're definitely going to have some ace x at check raise for value. And then two flush draws miss. We got to go for it all. I don't think they're checking better. We have like ace nine, ace ten. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. That's a huge pot. I'd say they're not going to be stripped of this. It's definitely going to be like a, like I said, ace nine, ace ten, and check calling. I guess makes sense. I think we're going to lead the turn after they big bet flop. Much better turn for me than it is for them after they big bet. I think. Liver's obviously good. I want to go small. I still want to value bet five here probably. Value bet seven. Value bet five. Yeah, I guess I would. Whoa, that was a quick call. King eight. I want to three bet fold this now. I think I want to be having some three bet folds here. With the A6 off in the small blind, in the small blind versus big blind, I think we've got to hit these and hope the smiling guy on the button folds it and we'd have a chip lead. And we have the chip lead. We have the chip lead, but we won't if we don't win this part. Can definitely still have the best hand. They're gonna make a fair fair amount of pairs with the Broadway peels on the bottom. You know, but I do okay on this board as well, right? Maybe we have a check with this hand though. Because we also get there against Ace 10, some other Ace highs. Ace high with backdoors. Don't think we're getting much better to fold. Hmm. Man, I really wanna just dunk lead all in. Ripping Ace King pretty fucking hard. Damn, they had a set. It's really hard to get someone to fold a set. I didn't expect them to flat Jacks pre-flop that often. They're obviously going to have like Jack 10 and Queen 10. 
queen jack. They're going to fold queen nine pretty pretty easily, I think. They're going to fold ten nine and ace ten and some jack x, king jack. We are in big shit. We got two blinds left. I think I'm okay with it though. Sometimes you got to bluff. Sometimes they call. Probably not going to make the 3k uh, pay jump. It's a really sweaty spot for a lot of the hands. Jax is obviously just like incredibly ridiculously high up. Maybe we're still in though. We've got top two. All right. Nothing over till it's over. Nothing over till it's over. Damn, it's over. All right, we can't hold against King-10. We really gave it to him with the A6. GG's, GG's. Total for the day is as follows. 2,218.75 in bounties plus 5,526.80 plus 724. 8,469.55 rounded up. 8,470 bucks. <laughs>